I think unlike Cuba, the Philippines are much more of a mystery to the United States. I don't think that there is much thinking about the Philippines except in very instrumental terms by almost anyone. I, th I think it appears as a, a natural strategic place for there to be a coaling base, for example. I think people really interested in the China trade um, are aware of the potential of the Philippines, but, but the US has a very strange relationship with the Philippines. I don't think there is the same uh, interest in even the atrocities of, of what's going on in the Philippines. I, I, for one, I think it's much more racialized. Um, you know, I, I don't think Filipinos are viewed in the same way as certain kinds of Cubans. And so I, I think the U.S. understanding of the Philippines is much more instrumental. Um, and, and oddly, strangely, I think that goes both ways. The Filipinos are not viewing the U.S. as their savior. They're not trying to influence the U.S. to intervene. Um, if anything, um, the leaders of the, the Philippine Revolutionary Group, the Katipunan, are looking to Japan. Um, they're seeing this rise of Meiji Japan, this new Asian um, counter-imperial state. And they, and they think if anyone is going to liberate us from Spain, we're going to reach out to Japan. Um, so, so I think, at least in the case of the Philippines, at least before the war, I think it gets much more complicated after the war. But I think, at least in terms of strategic sense, um, Spain, uh, Spain is, is not defending the Philippines very well. Um, the U.S. has a lot cooler warships in the Pacific. But I don't see that same kind of impetus of, of, of intervention in the Philippines. It's just, ah, that's a cool bonus that we could get as well.